Welcome to our lecture online. Our next challenge on this particular problem, we have the ring and we have the spoke, the wheel and the spoke. We're trying to find the force the axle exerts on the wheel at time equals zero, which means at this very moment in time, what is the force of the axle exerting on the wheel? Of course, you have the wheel hanging down from the axle, so the axle supports the weight of the wheel and the weight of the, of the spoke, but then the wheel and spoke are accelerating. So how do we do that? Well, it turns out the best thing to do would be to draw the, the forces involved. So we have the weight of the wheel pulling down like this. So this would be mg of the wheel. And we have the mg of the spoke. But the spoke is accelerating downward. So actually, this becomes mg minus ma, kind of like the tension on the string when an object is attached to the string and the object is accelerating downward, the tension on the string is mg minus ma, so the force exerted by the, by the uh, spoke will be mg minus ma. And then we have the axle pushing back, so the axle will be pushing upward, and so let's call that the force of the axle. So, that means that if we then sum up all the force in the y direction, that should add up to zero. So the sum of all the forces in the y direction add up to zero, which is equal to the force of the axle upward minus the weight of the wheel and minus the effective weight of the spoke. That would be mg minus ma, and that all adds up to zero. In other words, the force of the axle is equal to mg plus mg, which is 2mg, and then minus times a minus, becomes that becomes negative, so minus m times a. Remember that the mass of a spoke or the rim is going to be equal to 1.02 kilograms right here. All right. Now let's go ahead and take this, box that in. So to figure this out, we do know mg already. Each mg is 10 newtons, but we don't know the acceleration. So how do we calculate the acceleration? Well, we use the rotational equivalent of ma. So instead of F equals ma, we're going to write torque equals I times alpha. And so if we then take this equation and bring it down here, the torque is applied by the weight of the rod pulling down, not just the weight, but of course mg minus ma, acting through the perpendicular distance of the radius divided by 2. Okay, so that means that the torque, torque is equal to mg minus ma, that's the tension or the force, multiplied times the distance, which is r divided by 2, and that equals the moment of inertia, which is 4 thirds mr squared, times the angular acceleration. Now the angular acceleration, notice we can write that A equals uh, the radius, the radius times the angular acceleration, or the angular acceleration is equal to A divided by R. But in this case, of course, we're worried about the angular acceleration or the acceleration of the center mass, which is R over 2. So this is equal to A divided by R over 2. And that goes in here. Alpha right here, so that's times a divided by r over 2. There we go. Uh, and this, of course, should be a small m to make it look like it's the same as this m over here. Well, first, let's cancel out the r. So we have an r squared here. We have an r in the denominator here. So that cancels out, becomes a 1. And this goes away. And then we have an r on the left side and an r on the right side. So that cancels out as well. So let's see what we have so far. The 2 goes to the top. So this becomes 8 thirds, on the right side we have 8 thirds ma, and on the left side we have 1 half times mg minus ma. We can multiply both sides by 2 and also cancel out the m. So the m's cancel out, multiply both sides by 2, that gives us g minus a is equal to 16 over 3 times a. Or, putting all the a's on one side, we have g is equal to a plus 16 over 3a. That's 3 over 3 plus 16, or g is equal to 19 over 3a. 
or A is equal to 3 19 times G. There you go. A equals 3 19 G. Now we can plug that in here and see what we get. So the force of the axle exerting on the wheel is equal to 2 times mg minus ma, and a is 3 19 g, that would be uh, 3 19 mg, so that would be um, 38 19 minus 3 19, so f on the axle is equal to 38 over 19 mg minus 3 over 19 mg. So of course, the force on the axle is then going to be equal to 35 over 19 mg. And since mg is 10 newtons, that would be 35 over 19 times 10 newtons. And so finally, where's my calculator? There we go. We got uh, 35 divided by 19 times 10, which is 18.4. So the force that the axle exerts on the wheel is equal to 18.4 newtons. And that is how we find that particular force.